Okay, good morning. Good morning. To God be the glory for all He has done. I'm going to give a scripture out of Psalms. Psalm 1. Psalm 1. Uh, Psalm 1. Uh, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Amen. We are his people, the mm -hmm. sheep of his pastor. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving, into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, his truth endures to all generations. To God be the glory. Uh, Psalm 100, uh, 1 through 5. Uh, let us let us pray. Our gracious eternal God, once again we come thanking you, God, for all you have done. God, thank you how you kept us on last week and uh, gave us another chance, God, to see another day. Forgive us for our sins, God, that we have sinned against you. Anyone that has sinned against us, oh God, forgive them. Thank you, God, for how you allowed to make it in the heat of the day, God. You still were right there with us. We bless, honor, glorify your holy and righteous name, God. This service, God, always belong to you. Yes. Help us, oh God, to be mindful, God, that had not been for you, God, where it will be. Thank you. For all you have done, your son Jesus died to make this day possible. We bless all your name on today, God. We love you and we need you. Help us, oh God, be all you call to be on today. This is our prayer. It's, it's in Jesus' name, God. We thank you and we love you. And the church says, Amen. Amen. And amen. Now we draw welcome. Amen. Yeah. Well, Church. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I don't. I was looking for that scripture that said, and I don't know it off the top of my head. That okay. says, "Where two or three are gathered in uh -huh. His name." Well, right now it looks like about four or five, and we're gonna do just as much as two or three. Amen. How about Amen. that? Amen. I'm just grateful to be here today, and I'm actually gonna read, do the welcome in a little bit of a different way today. Okay. Because you know what? We came here to get something. Amen. It was hard to get here today, but we came here to get something. Amen. And whatever the Lord has for us, that's what we're going to leave with. Amen. Today I'm going to read a little bit of Psalm 103, okay. where it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget none of his benefits. And who pardons all your iniquities, mm -hmm. uh -huh. who heals all your diseases, who you redeems Lord. your life from the pit, mm -hmm. who crowns you with loving kindness uh -huh. and compassion, yes. who satisfies your years oh, with good things. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you for that. Thank you, Lord. So that your youth is renewed like the eagle. Mm -hmm. The Lord performs righteous deeds mm -hmm. and judgments for all who are oppressed. Yes. He made known his ways to Moses, uh -huh. his acts to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate yes, he is. and gracious, yes, he mm -hmm. is. slow to anger and abounding in loving kindness. Uh -huh. He will not always strive with us, uh -huh. nor will he keep his anger forever. Yes. Thank the Lord for that because you know Amen. we can stay angry forever. Oh, Amen. 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 He has not dealt with us according to our sins. Mm -hmm. That right there. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes, you know what? I'll tell you, before I got married, I said, you know what? I don't know if I'm ever going to get married because I tell you, if I have to open up my closet, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I might not ever get married. You know, Lord, all the things that I've done, and I know we've all done things Amen. in our lives. You understand Amen. what I'm saying? Yes. But if God had to deal with me according to my sins, I would be in the valley of hell right now, mm -hmm. you know, but I thank God for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You yes. understand Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I thank God that he didn't deal with me according to my sins, that he forgave me Amen. the same way I'm still learning how to forgive others. Yeah. 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 
He will Thank always, uh, he will not always strive with us, nor will he keep us in anger forever. Mm -hmm. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our iniquities. Uh -huh. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, mm -hmm. so great is his loving kindness toward those who fear him. Mm -hmm. As far as the east is from the west, so far he has removed his transgressions from us. My God. Lord, I just thank you for that thank word. You. I welcome all of the members uh, here at Rebirth today and all of the guests, special guests from New, all the way from New Orleans today. Amen. Louisiana, we just thank you. And thank we're going to welcome in the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit this Amen. morning just with us. Yes. Lord, we thank you for your presence yes. today. We yes. welcome your presence in our lives. Yes. God, we just believe that you're going to fill our cup. And we're not going to go home empty, God, but we're going to go home filled, eager to get back into the Word, eager to get back into your house, oh God. Lord, we just thank you for this day. We welcome you here, and we welcome all the guests. We welcome rebirth. We just thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Father, we just thank you on this thank day. But this is the day that the Lord has made, Lord God. God. And we thank you, Father God, for gathering us here today, Lord yes, God. Lord. As you have already predestined and spoken, Lord God, we thank you for every member that's standing here, Father yes, God. Lord. That you protect their house, Father Lord. God, their family, Father God. We just thank you right now. We glorify yes. you. Yes. Lord God, you have already called this to order, yes. Lord God. Yes. That you're going to instill in us, Father God, what you have already purposed, Lord God, yes. in our bones, Lord God. We thank you for the bone marrow. Yeah, 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 we thank yeah, you for yeah. each organ that you have placed in our body, Lord God. Yes. God. We thank you for our mind. Every yes. member that's yes. on this body, Lord God, yes. as you have placed it, Lord God, yes. that it pleases you, yes. Heavenly Father. Yes. We thank you right now right. and we glorify you, Lord God. Yes. Father God, we ask you to speak into our hearts. Yes. Speak into our mind, Lord yes. God, that you will lead God, direct and protect us, yes. Heavenly Father. We thank you for bringing us here to Kuwait, Lord God. Yes. Yes. Father God, decrease yes. us that you will increase yes. in us, Heavenly yes. Father. We yes. thank you, Father God. Take away from everything that is not of you, Lord yes. God, yes. and fill us with you, yes. Father God. Yes. Your spirit that dwells on the inside of us, yes, we thank you for it, Lord yes. God. Yes. We thank you for ordering our footsteps in your right. word, Lord yes. God. We thank you right now for the rebirth house of hope, Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. We thank you for the for the jewel for this. Yes. We thank you for yes. Pastor Beverly, Lord yes. God, yes. and yes. Brother Marshall, Lord yes. God. Yes. We thank you for every member that you have already spoken, yes. Lord God. It is that you draw, Lord God. Yes. You do the drawing, Lord God. Yes. Father God, decreasing everything, Lord God, that's not of you in yes. each of us, Lord God. We thank you for the hedge of protection, yes. Lord God, yes. here in Kuwait, Lord God. Yes. We thank you for the, mem the mirror that's here, Lord God, yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Father God, that you speak to his heart, his mind, Lord God, mm -hmm. that your children here in Kuwait, Lord God, that we're all gathered unto you, yes. Lord God, yes. as unity, Lord God. Yes. We thank you right now for our for our president yes. in, in the United States, Donald yes. Trump, Lord God, yes. that you touch his heart, Lord yes. God. Yes. We all yes. belong to you, Lord yes. God, yes. that you know the way that you the we take, Lord God. We yes. don't know anything, yes. but you know, Lord God. Lord God. We thank you right now, and we right. honor you, Lord God, and all that you're Let doing, you you're going to do, and all that you have already done. This we pray in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 On the 2nd of July, Rebirth Barbecue on the, on the beach for the 4th of July celebration is at Fenton's Private Beach. Service will convene at 9.15 in right. the morning. Amen. Amen. Food and fun to follow. Bring your straw hat, your lawn chairs, your boom box, and the family. My God. Ladies, we need a cover dish mm -hmm. and one dessert. Gentlemen, bring your aprons and your gloves. Amen. The meat menu belongs to the men.
for everything you have done uh, all down through the year. We know uh, next uh, Sunday, uh, I'll be to call it Father's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I always say, but it's just me. If man was created first, how is Father's Day before? How is Mother's Day before Father's Day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's how, that's how the world system got it set up. Mother's Day is first. Then comes Father's Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But nevertheless, um, we should try to have a little uh, program on next week. Uh, we have a 11 o'clock uh, speaker uh, for Father's Day. We like for each one to, to come out as you can uh, to join with us uh, on Father's Day. To God be the glory and we thank God for that great day that they have set aside uh, for us on next on next next Sunday. Uh, nevertheless, uh, this is the day that the Lord has made, and yes. we shall be glad and rejoice in it. We thank God for another chance and opportunity to encourage God people once again. Had not been for God, yeah, on our side, where, where would we be? But God is awesome. God, we we do thank God for the pastor and her house and uh, on a vacation in, in in the U.S. And uh, we just pray that the travel will be safe and. The vacation be what God would allow it to be. And as they return back uh, sometime this week, we pray that traveling mercy and God would bring them back safe to rebirth once again. Uh, now let us let us pray. God, our gracious and eternal God, we we thank you for being all that you are to us on today. God, we thank you because you set aside and gave us a chance, God, to yet still be in our right mind and able to come out to the house of worship. But God, we know down through the year we've been all that we should have been. But God, nevertheless, you still seem fit to send your son to die for a wretch in a wicked generation. But, oh, God, we love you on today, and we need you even more on today. Be with us, God, as we go through the rest of this day and the rest of this service, God, and help us, God, to have a mindset, God, to know that it's not about us, God, it's about you. We come today, God, expecting, God, a change in our lives, that we can go out into a dying world, God, and present Jesus Christ, God, and Someone might say, what must I do to be saved? Yes. But God, it's not what we do, God. It's what you have put in us to birth out into this world, Thank God. We yes. are ready, God, to be all that you call us to be on yes. today. Thank you, God. God, you know our lives, and you have already shaped us when we were in our mother's womb. So, God, now we like to thank you for all that you've done down through the years of our parents, our grandparents, and kids and grandkids, God, but we thank you for the graduation for this month, God. There's a lot of school and college, God, is graduating, some going to another great, some that's coming out, going into a different lifestyle, God, but we pray that you, you bless them and keep them, God, and keep their mindset, God, and, and the shape and arrow it needs to be, oh God, that they'll know, God, without you, God, that study won't be nothing. Change hearts and minds on the graduate on today, God. Let them know, God, that it's because of you they can graduate. And we thank you for the parents, God, that have been with them, them 12, 13, 14 years in school, God, and educate them and brought them up in a way, oh God, that they coming out now, God, to get a taste of, of this life. Bless them and keep them, God, like only you can. And if anyone among us, God, sick, uh, just don't feel like, God, that 
you with them, God. Change the hearts and mind. Give them confidence on today, God, that you would never leave us or you would never forsake us. We bless you, honor your name. We thank you for all you have done, God. Every family that's represented here today, God, touch each one, God, that connected to these families, God. Whatever they're going through, God, make a switch and change right now according to that word and that promise. And we love you today, God. We need you. Help us, oh God, as we go through this journey, God, knowing that you was able. And we bless you, your name. We honor you on today, God. And we pray, God, that you encourage somebody on today that we'll run on, God, and be all that you have called us to be. We love you and we need you on today. Forgive us our sins, God. You don't want sin against us. Thank you for all you have done. As we go on next week, God, be with us and stand by us. And help us and cover us in your blood that we'll be able, God, to stand the heat of the day. We love you today and we need you. It's in Jesus' name. And the church says amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Ask you to follow some scriptures on today. We're going to try to start out with some encouragement on Proverbs 13. Mm-hmm. Proverbs chapter 13. We're going to look at verse 6. Proverbs chapter 13. We're going to look at verse mm-hmm. 6. Mm-hmm. Verse 6, and it reads, Righteousness keep him that is upright in the way. Righteousness keep him that is upright in the way. But wickedness overthrows the sinner. Mm-hmm. I've been there, so I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. When wickedness will overthrow the sinner. Yeah, the wicked will overthrow the sinner. But righteousness. Yes. Yeah. Righteousness will keep him that is upright. Long we continue to strive to be righteous, yeah, Amen. we will be kept. And it says, every charge for good set into motion, other opportunities for good. Evil choices follow the same pattern. But in the opposite direction, each charge you make in obedience to God's word will bring a greater sense of order to your life. While each charge made in disobedience will bring confusion and destruction. The choices you make will shape your integrity, obedience, choice will bring the greatest safety and security. Amen. Yeah, when we, when we just do right, uh, we just feel better. That's right. Yeah, when, you, when we just do right. You, you, you see, like, our sleep pattern at night is peaceful. Mm-hmm. When we know we did folks right during the day, I uh, just feel like we had to harm mm-hmm. nobody. Now, some folks, is, you know, they, they just really sense it. We can say some stuff, and it's just a long time. We don't really know we've done it. Mm-hmm. But if we know that we have done all we can to, you know, to, to bring peace, uh, whoever we have came in contact on that day, it just makes you feel good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, it just makes you feel good to do right. Mm-hmm. But wickedness, mm-hmm. like I said, I've been there. Uh, in a wickedness state when it, when it just, I don't know. Uh, at that time, when, when I was in that state, it felt right. Because, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I ain't know any better. Mm-hmm. I didn't have the knowledge of, 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 of Christ. Mm-hmm. So when I was in that uh, wicked state, and I didn't know that the, uh, the Bible, he said, your father is who you obey. So as I was in that wicked state, really felt right because I was obeying my father. Mm-hmm. And my father was the devil. Mm-hmm. Didn't know. Mm-hmm. But then the Bible tells in Romans, he didn't know to do right mm-hmm. and to do wrong to them and sin. Mm-hmm. So once I come into the knowledge, I know to do right, then wicked didn't feel so good. Because I know then it was sin. Amen. Yeah, because I, I was in the knowledge 
knowing that this is not right. But thank God that he gave me a chance to come out of uh, not doing right to know to do right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that makes me feel pretty good. Now, uh, Isaiah 29 and 13. Isaiah 29 and 13. Isaiah 29, 13. And it reads, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as did, as these people draw near to me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their hearts far from me, and their fear towards me is taught by the precept of me. Mm -hmm. Isaiah. Isaiah. Now, Isaiah, and then we're going to go to Matthew mm -hmm. and Mark, where Jesus is going to, be, going to say the same thing about the hypocrites. And that's what they're talking about. He said, people claim to belong to God, mm -hmm. but they were disobedient. Mm -hmm. And Mary went through the motions. Mm -hmm. Therefore, God will bring vengeance upon them. Religion had become a routine <laughs> instead of real. Mm -hmm. Jesus quoted Isaiah combination of Israel, hypocrites, mm -hmm. when he spoke to the Pharisees, the religious leaders. We are all capable of being hypocrites. Mm -hmm. We are all capable of being in that same state. You know, uh, I mean, that's just some people do. They say they one thing in Christ, but then they constantly do another thing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of folks I heard when I was, before I got saved, when I wasn't saved, the reason I don't go to church because there's too many hypocrites in the church. I used to it all the time. And I had an old pastor used to say, um, well, uh, come show us how not to be hypocrites. Huh. But people do say that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to go to church because there ain't no hypocrites in the church. Mm -hmm. I mean, people say that all the time. But Israel was just doing all kinds of stuff and, and, and people say stuff, like you said, with their lips, but their heart is far away. Because we can't see nobody hard in here. Mm -hmm. So if I say I'm saved and God saved me, mm -hmm. I mean, that's all really y'all can take it just what I say. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. But now my lifestyle that's right. shows something different. That's right. Mm -hmm. that's right. Then, that's when God said, these folks here, was saying something with their lips, but their heart was, wasn't even there. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. They say how much they know God, they love God, but the right. actions and, and the way just, and it's the same thing today. That's right. But God got a plan and a time when he's going to correct all yes, the hypocrites. Amen. Yeah, God got a time. Amen. And often we slip mm -hmm. into routine form of worship which means nothing to us. If we want to be called God's people, we must be obedient and worship Him honestly and sincere. Amen. Amen. I can't tell if your worship is sincere or honest, mm -hmm. but God can. That's right. Yeah. Amen. So that's how they can determine, right. God can, whether these people were hypocritical or not, because they would have fake worship. That's right. You know, they can come in and act like, they say, and we won't even know it, mm -hmm. but God will. Amen. Yeah, because God sees, he sees our heart. Amen. Mm -hmm. And God knows the hearts of each one of us, whether we're faking, mm -hmm. we're shucking and jiving, mm -hmm. or we're for real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But these folks in Israel, it, 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 it was just something they did because back then they had a lot of fear of different uh, religious rulers and Pharisees. They just 
have a thing where they can just say, if you don't worship my God, they will take you out. And people fear their life more, you know, back then. Yeah. Because whatever the king said, it was a gift. Go kill this guy family. They were gonna do it. So they was kind of afraid of being worshiping out in the open <coughs> like we've done. Mm -hmm. If you even go back to Nicodemus, mm -hmm. he went to Jesus by night. And he was a rich young ruler because he was afraid of being seen with Jesus out in the public, knowing that if he got caught, they, his life was on the line. Mm. So he went to Jesus by night mm. and asked him, how can a man be born again? Mm. Nicodemus, a rich young ruler. But he was afraid of what would happen to him if he would do it in the open. Mm. But see, we don't have that, that, that problem now. We can be open and don't really be afraid Amen. of coming to cry. Mm -hmm. So back then it was it was pretty tough on. It was really tough on. But now we can just come anytime to be born again. We ain't gotta hide. We ain't gotta duck and, and, and be afraid. Now as as Isaiah was talking about how bad it is and how they were not honest and weren't sincere about their worship and they hit the critical. Now, if we go to Matthew 15, and Jesus got something to say about the same thing Isaiah was saying in the New Testament. 15 and 7 and 8 and 9. Matthew 15, 7. Eight and nine. Notice I just say we all are capable of being a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Nobody is in. Mm -hmm. We gotta keep our mindset connected to God and His Word. Mm -hmm. Cause the enemy, he don't care who he get. Amen. Amen. He said he comes in. To see killing this cross, or you devour, you don't care. <laughs> so we gotta keep our mindset towards the things of God. We got to in this day and time. Amen. We easy, like I said, we easily can slip. That's right. Now, fifteen and seven, Matthew, mm -hmm. Jesus speaking to these hypocrites now. Ye hypocrites, where the Isaiah prophet of you saying, these people draw near unto me with their mouth, lip service, mm -hmm. and honor me with their lip, mm -hmm. but their heart is far from me. Mm -hmm. But in vain they do worship me, teaching from doctrines the commandments of men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they just allow the men what they say overrule what God mm -hmm. has put out in his law. Fear. Most of us fear. Most of them get saved because of their fear mm -hmm. of being taken out, of being killed. But the Pharisees had that kind of, of power where they could just put people in that state of mind mm -hmm. to be in fear. Mm -hmm. and, I, uh, and it says, the prophet Isaiah also criticized hypocrites. And Jesus applied his words to these religious leaders, the Pharisees. Knew, they knew a lot about God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They knew a lot about God, mm -hmm. but they didn't know God. Mm -hmm. When we claim to honor God, while our hearts are far from Him, mm -hmm. our worship means nothing. Right. Yeah. Amen. Our worship means nothing. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, I uh, talk to people from time to time. Mm -hmm. I recall from a while back I talked to, it was, I didn't know who the ladies were, but I was just. And run all I spoke to him. And when you speak to people about <coughs> church, and most of them they've got on that subject, and that's how it come up. And when you ask them about coming to church, the first thing they say on the church, that's true. We don't need to go to church to pray. I mean, to avoid 
coming to some of this together. That's the first thing that throw at you. I don't need to go to church. I, I mean, a lot of people will come at you with that. I don't need to go to church. I'm the church. Why I go to church? I can do the same thing I can do in the church. But I can draw a screen from each one of you at the church. That's right. Around the body and the believers. That's right. It'll help me That's right. to get what I need to get. You see what I'm saying? Now, if I don't hang out here in this world with the prince of the world, we know who the prince of the world is, right? The prince of the world is the devil. So if I ain't getting no screen from my brothers and my sisters by coming to sell myself together, the enemy is going to take me out. Because everything negative and all the stuff I'm hearing, I'm, that's all I'm getting every day. I ain't coming here to get encouraged, hear no good testimony that something I'm rising or going through with. The enemy is going to overtake me. But society done got set aside where they don't really need to go to church. They, I mean, they fine. We're just staying out of church, just doing their own thing, reading the word sometime, not coming to the Sunday, the Bible study. You know, they, they feel like they're okay. They don't understand that somebody's testimony can bring them out of some kind of situation. Amen. But they, I mean, that's just how they locked in. Because the enemy don't put that, don't, don't you go to church. Them people in the church, they, they, they. But when, when I got saved, I just told God to just deliver me from people. Just deliver me from people. If I'm going to grow, I need help. And I can get it from the church. That's right. But that, that's what they did. But back in these days here, the first thing was just had a stronghold. Had them fearful because if they didn't serve who they thought was their God, then if you say you serve anything like different, they would take you out. They would try to kill you. So, and it says, uh, God, uh, it's, it says, it, it is not either, it, it is not, it, it's not enough to study about religion or even to study the Bible. It is, it, it is, it is our action and our attitude must be sincere. If they are, if they are not, I mean, we can, we can say everything we want to say about how much I know. But if our action and our attitude not sincere about this walk with Christ, that's what, that's what's going to be a problem. It's got to be sincere. And if I don't come and sell myself together with my brothers and sisters, somebody, the enemy, is going to leak down inside of me, and I'm going to kind of get, you know, kind of off key. Because he'll do that. What get into your mind, we like to get into our spirit. If it's not of God, it can damage us to what down the road. I tell people, if I got a loaf of bread and if one piece in there is molded and I don't do nothing about it, all the rest of the bread is going to go bang. That's right. Yeah, so I got to take that bad piece out That's right. so, the, so that, that, that the rest of the bread can live. That's right. Can be good. Can be okay. That's right. So if I hang around, all these folks that's not of God and thinking about God all the time, mm -hmm. they're going to mess me up. That's right. Because yeah. what they keep putting out or uh, 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 saying on their part, they're going to get down in my spirit. I'm going to end up acting just like them. I'm going to end up doing the same thing. And before I know it, I'm going to slip away. That's right. By not being around the body. That's right. Don't cry. So we, we must be connected to one another. Yes. Yeah, we gotta be. My yes. read, my study, mm -hmm. I gotta be. Cause God can show you something in the word that I might not see. Mm -hmm. And when you when you share it to me, it's gonna enlighten me. Yeah, it's gonna help me right. do better. Now that was Jesus talking about the hypocrites, uh the Pharisees, and they claim they knew God. Mm -hmm. But they didn't know. Mm -hmm. They were sincere. Mm -hmm. They love him with Lip service, what he could do for them. But their hearts, he said, was far away. Now, I just spoke about it. Now, Jesus talked about it. Same thing. Mm -hmm. What they did was vain glow. Mm -hmm. 
They didn't really worship Jesus sincerely. They didn't care about it. But they talked about it. They talked about knowing it. They knew scripture. They knew all that. But their worship was not real. And Jesus knew it. Now Matthew 7, Matthew 7, and Jesus talking to the hypocrites again. Matthew 7, I'm sorry, not Matthew, Mark 7. Mark 7, 6 and 7. He answered and said unto them, Jesus, well, has Isaiah's prophet of you hypocrites, and it is written, the people honor me with their lips, but their heart are far from me. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching or doctrine the commandment of me? Isaiah talked about it. Now Jesus comes to the New Testament, he talks about it. And he said, hypocrite is pretending to be something you are not and have no intention of being. Yeah. That's what they do. They ain't got no intention of, uh, of living right. They have no intention of doing that. Talking about something. They, don't, they, they talk about it, but they ain't going to live it. He said, talking about it. He said, hypocrite is pretending to be something you are not and having no intention of being. Jesus called the Pharisee hypocrites because they they worship God for the wrong reason. Their worship was not motive, motivated by love, but by a desire to attain profit, mm -hmm. to appear holy, and to increase the stature. We become hypocritical when we first what? Pay more attention to reputation than to character. Carefully follow certain religious practice while allowing our heart to remain distant from God and emphasize our love but other sins. We get caught up in and, 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 and just because God I do this and do that for us and we we try to pretend we have a love for him. But God knows different. We just, we try to really use God in getting this and getting that. Mm. But see, God already knows that we're not sincere. God already knows that we're here for him. But it's kind of funny. Uh, it's like it's harder really for the church to pull that out of individuals because we have been caught up if we see something, if we sense or feel like somebody is just really wrong in the church and say they say, I believe we feel like if we approach them about it, first thing they'll go to the scripture that say, judge ye not. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but we'll still let that seed, that bad seed, hang around in the church and damage the rest of the church. I know a young man, good in the state. I mean, he's like a professional player, uh, musician. I'm talking about every church wanted him in my little town. Every church wanted him. He was good. But his lifestyle was not right. And they knew his lifestyle was not right. But because of his talent, how he can direct the choir and all of this, they knew he was on crack. They knew he was on drugs back then. The church knew it. But they would never remove him from the church because of his talents. They knew it. Wherever you go, uh, take the choir church, there won't be room. Everybody want to go. Because, I mean, he was, his talent was just that great. But they let, but they, they let the talent Allow him to stay there, and they knew his lifestyle was all right. They knew, but they never removed him. 
I knew it got well. But they never removed me. Never. And that's how they got caught. But now, who, who really is God going to charge for that? The pastor knew. But his talent outweighed his lifestyle. They loved his talent. He was good. But they, they look at that. And but God telling us both need to line up. Both need to line up. But Jesus will call you out. He'll call you hypocrites. He'll do that. But something, something about the church, if we do it, is a big problem. Uh, the church is wrong for, for saying it or calling someone out. But Jesus didn't have no problem with saying you're a hypocrite. You love it with your lips, but your heart is far from it. He let them know that I know who you are and what you're trying to do. I know it. But Jesus spoke it. Uh, he spoke to the hypocrites uh, in that day and in that time. Now, um, as we go to Matthew, uh, Matthew 6 and 3 and 4. Matthew 6, 3 and 4. Matthew 6, 3 and 4. Matthew 6, 3 and 4. And it reads, um, Jesus speaking again. But when thou dost arm, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand does. Mm -hmm. That thy arms may be in secret, and thy father will see in secret, himself shall reward the open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I'm going to do something for you, mm -hmm. I don't need to go out and Don't nobody need to know about it. I don't need to go out and brag about right. I helped Jeffrey with his life deal. Mm -hmm. I helped Jeffrey with his car payment. Uh, he said, if I go out and do that, then I would have got my reward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, when Jesus said not to let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, he is teaching that our motives for giving to God and to others must be pure. Yeah, I mean, I, if, if I really want to do this without any show, I just do it out of love, keep my mouth quiet, and go, God will bless me from there. But if I got to go out and brag about what I've done to you, that ain't good. Come back and tell the church, they're not even looking at you funny. Because you couldn't make your light bill or your house payment. No, Jesus tells us, it must be pure. And he said, it is easy to deal with mixed motives to do something for someone if it will be benefit, if it benefit us in return. But believers should avoid all scheming and giving for the sake of giving and as a response to God's love. Why do you give? If I'm going to give for a show or uh, give to be clap or uh, pray for other people, that's, that's pretty much the wrong reason for me to give something. All I'm doing is really hurting myself. But once I grow mm -hmm. and know better, then I ought to do better. That's right. Now some folks, they might not know no better when they, when they first start off on this walk. That's right. They might think that if they do something to somebody, that, that's what they got to do. It's terrible. But once you know better, you know what I'm saying? You ought to do better. And God will bring you uh, to that point. Some folks don't get over stuff quicker than others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got over some, some things in my life just like that. Sometimes. Quick. Cussing right then. Stop. Drinking beer. Stop. 
Some things were quick. Some things are just like Paul. Still got stones in the flesh. That's right. Still got stones in the flesh. But God still worked with us. Now, for say, it's easy to do what's right when we gain recognition and praise. It's easy when we gain recognition and praise. Uh, to be to be sure our motives are not selfish, we should do our good deeds privately or in secret with no thought of reward. Jesus said we should check our motives in these three areas. We should check our motives. Praying, fasting, we ought to check our motives. Those, those acts should not be selfish, but sinner does not to make us look good, but to, to make God look good. The reward God promised is not material. So God promised the reward that he'll give us, and we do stuff in secret, then he'll reward us openly. But sometimes, I mean, like you said, the flesh is still the flesh. Uh, we ain't nobody here arrived yet. But the Bible says, he that endure to the end shall be saved. Right. He that endure to the end shall be saved. Ain't nobody here has made it to the end because we still, we still live in vessels. Okay. So don't think we can't slip at any time. Right. But because of God and the head and the mindset that we have, God keeps us if we want to be kept. Yeah. He keeps us in that, in, in, in that place that we need to be at all times if we want to be kept. Uh, because there's, there's, I mean, a lot of people is, 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 is probably will say last week, might not be saved today. <laughs> Something had triggered them some kind of way. Uh, lost a job, lost a something. I'm, 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 I just keep reminded about a young man uh, that did all that killing a while back, and he was killing people and putting it on Facebook. Because his girlfriend broke up with him. And he said he was going to kill until his girlfriend or his mama called him. And he walked up to this old man walking the street. Mm. And asked the man to say his mama name, or say, or say his girlfriend name. Mm. And as the man was trying to say, he shot the man. And he filmed it on putting it on Facebook. Then he talked to the scar about the next place he was going to and who he was going to kill. Mm. Because his girlfriend called him and said, I ain't got nothing now. She broke up, I ain't got nothing. His mindset. Gonna kill everybody. But they finally caught him and they ended up killing him. And he killed himself, whichever one. But he said he was gonna kill people until his mama or his girlfriend called him. He said, but they don't love me. He said, if you blame anybody, he said, blame my mom. He said, if you blame anybody, do they say, blame my mom? Mindset. Enemy, the torment, the mistress mind. Mm -hmm. But God okay. didn't stop it. Knew it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. But he still had a, a conscious decision to, to, to change. God could not make him not shoot these people. But this guy still had a, he still had a conscious decision to make the right decision. But he just chose not to. The enemy had got got him and worked him up just that bad mm. to where he didn't want to take people's life. So that's why it behooves us as Christians to stay girded up with God's word. Stay close to God's word. Amen. Stay encouraged with each other with God's word. That's why we need each other. I might not be up every day. There's going to be some days I'm going to be down. But I need somebody to encourage me. That's right. That's right. That's in this body. That's right. I don't want the enemy to come tell me, well, you just go do this here because God is not. No, no. I need, I need somebody that's in the household of faith that's right. to let me know this is going to be all right. Amen. That's right. this too will pass. That's right. Yeah, yeah. This too will pass. That's right. Because if that don't happen and I allow the enemy to keep working on me, keep working on me, my mindset is liable to change. Right. But with the encouragement, mm -hmm. 
of you, you, and you, and let me know that God is my real God, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. That's right. Yeah. That's right. If I'm in God's hand, That's right. no enemy can plug me out. If I can get this encouragement from the church, mm -hmm. Amen. I can make it. That's right. Yeah. There won't be a storm that we can't conquer mm -hmm. if we can get the body That's to right. keep encouraging one another. That's right. But David said, I encourage myself. Yes. Yeah. But I still need some help. That's right. To know that I can't encourage myself. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're so important to one another. Yeah. Yeah. We're very important to one another. Yeah. yeah. Cause we got the courage ourselves. Now, um, Acts one and eight. Acts one and eight. Acts one and eight. Acts one and eight reads. Acts one and eight. And it reads, but you shall receive, yeah, but you, Larry, make it pro, Larry, shall receive power when the Holy Ghost come upon you, and you shall be witness to me in Jerusalem, and all Judea and Samaria, and the end of the earth. You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes. You shall receive power from the Holy Ghost. Include and, and, and the Holy Ghost will give you courage, boldness, confidence, insight, ability, and authority. Because I knew when I got saved. I needed some boldness. Didn't know nothing about it. But I knew I need some boldness. Um, when I went into the church, a lot of things, I guess people seen in me, I didn't see. They wanted me to do this and do that. I mean, I ain't been saved a week, mm -hmm. what I'm saying to myself. Yeah. Now you want me to do all this. Mm -hmm. and I ain't really know what's going on. You know. So I said, God, you need to give me some boldness. Mm -hmm. They want me to come up and stand in front of people. I pray that I say I, I, couldn't, I couldn't talk to y'all mm -hmm. like I'm talking now. Because mm -hmm. I look at you and I forget everything I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. I've been like that all through my yes. school. I was the same way. Mm -hmm. If I had to do a book before the school, I had to read the whole book and memorize. I could memorize the whole book. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't, didn't have to present it. But if I had to look down and read that book, and my class sitting there, I could never do it. I couldn't do it. So what I would do when I go home, I would read that book and memorize the whole book that I had to present to the class. Then I would have to look at the book. I just memorize it. Because as soon as I see somebody, I forget everything else I read. And I was like that all through my life. So when I got saved, I was the same way. So they told me, uh, well, they asked me to go up and, and do the work, like Sister Cassidy just did. But back then, they would give you cards, and they would fill out when they come into the church. So you had to come up. You might have 10. You had to read the name on the card and all that. So they, they gave me that, and I ain't been saved long. I said, Lord, if this is what you want me to do, I need some bonus. I said, I'm going to make you look bad. Yeah, that's how I'm making it. So that day four, he gave me what the Holy Ghost would give you. Carriage, boldness, ability, and authority. And insight. So when I asked God for that, he knew the desires of my heart. He knew I wasn't shugging and jiving. He knew that whatever somebody asked me to do for the church, I would do it. So God gave me that. He granted that to me because he knew that I was sincere. So when I stood up, three, four hundred people looked like, looked like they wanted to stop there. Because what God had instilled in me, 
Because that's what I asked for. So when I got ready to do it, there was no problem. And the next time I did it, when they gave me the card, I read the people's name. I said, now God give me something to say, I want to call it, call it. When they give you the usher's card, it said the same thing over and over all the time. Because you read off the card. I said, God give me something to say. I will read the people's names and put the card down. And let God give me something out of my heart. And when I did that, it was more real to the people than me reading the card and they failed it and they were going for the uproar. Because I was coming out of my heart. Yeah. Everybody read the card. What on the card? I said, God give me something to say. I read it now and put the card down. And God will do that if you're sincere. And I was sincere. And he did that. So that's what he said, when the Holy Ghost come, it will give you what? It will carry, you get boldness, you get confidence, you get insight, ability, and authority. The disciple will need all this, these gifts to fulfill their mission. We need the same thing to fulfill our mission. We need this to, to, fulfill, to, to fulfill the task that God has given us in this day and time. We need boldness. We need to be have carriage. We need ability. We need some authority. Mm -hmm. To go in some places, we have some authority to go in there. Mm -hmm. We just can't just walk in places that we, we assume we can go. No, we got to have some authority from God mm -hmm. to go in these places. But we got to get that authority and everything from God to go do it, and we're going to crack the sky. Amen. Yeah, we can conquer the enemy, Amen. the Holy Ghost. Knows all about us. Amen. And we get that out of Romans 10 and 10. That's where we get it from. We confess with our mouth, we believe in our heart. That's all we got to do is confess. We ain't got to do nothing else. We ain't got to cut no flips. We, some folks, I guess, make it hard for folks to get some knowledge. You confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that Jesus died. He wrote, died the Bible said, that shall be saved. Done. Now, there's a work in progress after then. Yeah, that's some stuff we got to do after that. We do that. When we confess it, it's done. Believe our heart. Believe Jesus died in Rome. He's our Lord and Savior. It's done. But after then, there's work to be done to us. Amen. There's work to be done to us. First uh, Corinthians 13. First Corinthians 13. 1 Corinthians 13, which everybody's probably know that in my heart. First, talks about love. 1 Corinthians 13. Do I speak with tongue of men and angels and have not charity? I become a sounding bread of a tingling symbol. And do I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge? And do I, I have all faith so that I can remove mountains? And have not changed, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not changed, it profits me nothing. It profit means nothing. Love is more important than gifts. We can have all these gifts. If I ain't got no love, ain't nothing. I can have all these gifts. Without love, it ain't nothing. Is that love is more important than gifts? The spiritual gifts, love makes our actions and gifts useless. Although people have different gifts, love is available to everyone. Our gift works better with love. Love. We've got to have love. Yeah. Any use of me prophesying, speaking in tongues, and, and, and talking about, I hate y'all. <laughs> I can't stand y'all. I don't want to be around y'all. Until I see y'all come, y'all make me mad. 
And my, my gift ain't no good. I can prophesy and do all that. If I ain't got no love, it's nothing. It's nothing. I got to have stuff in order. I got to have some love. I don't care, I don't care how good uh, a speaker or singer or a good time piano player, if I ain't got no love, it ain't nothing. Love, the Bible says, covers a multitude of sin. It covers a multitude of sin. Love. So all, all God really was proud of, proud of is to say, love, love your neighbor that you love yourself. Right. Now, if I love me and don't love my neighbor, it's, it's, it's kind of strange, Jim. You say you love your neighbor like you love yourself. So if I love me, I got to love my neighbor. I got to. I got to. Um, if I love, I'm going, I'm going to do uh, 1 Peter 5 and 7. And then we're going to, 1 Peter 5. And seven. First Peter five and seven. Cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Cast all your all your cares upon him. All of them. Your cares and your worries, your stress, and your daily struggles. By yourself, show that you have not trusted God fully. Word. Your struggles. If you don't give them to God, it, it, it's, you don't really trust God fully. Now, you, I mean, you might say that's not so. I mean, but if He tells me to cast everything on Him, I ain't caring nothing. But. I had to get to the point. This just didn't help overnight. Because uh, I know I used to wrestle with some stuff. But when I started reading and getting this, these scriptures down inside of me, knowing that I can't change nothing, every hair on my head, he says, number. So once I learned that if I cast it upon God because he cares, I got to give it to him. I mean, he's going to fix it at his time anyway. But I ain't called. There have been some struggles I've been in. I know I couldn't do nothing about it. Mm. I try not to work. I, I mean, I just, I don't know. I just try not to do that all through life. When I was a sinner, I didn't really worry about that. Mm -hmm. I didn't really, I mean, and, and I didn't know the scripture. But when I was a sinner, I just, I mean, I, I just try not to worry about that. Mm -hmm. But now, I know as you get saved and, and the enemy, he wants you to worry about stuff. He wants you to be stressed. Yeah. But God said, cast all your care upon him. If he, if he created and made me, he knew everything about me. Right. So I feel like once I get to that point, I believe God would do just what his word said. Because God can't lie. Um, it said, cast all your cares upon him, okay? With, uh, with your life, sometimes we think that stress caused by our own sins and foolishness are not God's concern. That, that's probably how some people live. They, they, they feel like they did something so wrong and so bad and this and that that I ain't going to give it to God because He's not going to help me out. But that's not how God works. It's a lot of stuff we've done that we cause the problem, but God still will take care of for us. He knows that we're going we're gonna to do some stuff that's not pleasing in his sight. That's why Jesus went to the cross. Yeah. So, but, but he said some people will feel like that all this I done done, Ain't no way God gonna help me. 
and the enemy will keep them in that state of mind mm -hmm. to where they won't give God mm -hmm. their words, they express, uh, they carry. Some people just like that. But since I learned that Jesus died for my sins, mm -hmm. and I don't care what I get caught up or messed up in, he still has the love and fix it, I'm going to get to him. Amen. But I'm going to try to learn yes. from that situation. And not take that situation and keep on doing the same situation. Mm -hmm. If I go give him something, it's going to be something different. Mm -hmm. and I can't give him the same thing I just keep wrestling with. Yeah, because in and, and this life, we're going to do some stuff. Mm -hmm. That ain't right. Kuwait to pull out in front of me. I don't know what I might do. If, 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 if I'm about to rent or go off the bridge. I mean, I done been riding with some folks and the creative whoop in front of them. I mean, good God, be more careful. What the hell say? You know what I'm saying? I mean, spur the moment, you, you, you know, you're looking at your life. I was um, working in the state, just got saved. I was driving a forklift. And the forklift turned over. I'm riding. I'm driving a forklift. And they say, never jump off a forklift. And the fault lift was turning over. I'm sitting on the seat. It was flipping. And I'm sitting on the seat of this fault lift. Hadn't been saved long. And I'm going to jump off this fault lift. And when I got ready to jump on this side, the fault lift by leaning, my mind said, well, if you jump that way, your legs going to catch the fault lift. So I'm still on the fault lift now. And when it, when it, it flipped, I stood up and the portlet was laying over me. And I went and got maintenance guy. The portlet was still laying down. And I'm standing like this, and the portlet is over me like this here. But it didn't have another door on that side. You can go, you know, you can go up both sides of the portlet. And I'm standing, the portlet is actually over me, and the port's going that way, and I'm standing up like this in the portlet. And the, the maintenance guys come out there and say, there's no way you're supposed to be alive. I said, but you don't control my life. I said, God control my life. Every maintenance man to come see that fault lift and see it, how it flipped over and I'm standing up in the... They say, you don't want me to live. You don't control my life. Just got saved. But God controls the universe. Although the enemy tried to make it for bad, but God will make it for good. Amen. Yeah. It's God that controls our life. It's God. It's God, not the enemy. Luke will be the last one. Luke 6. Luke 6, 27 and 28. Luke 6. Luke 6. Luke 6, 27. But I say to you who hear, but I say to you who hear. Everybody don't hear. Love your enemy. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. And pray for those who despite to use you. Name. Now Jesus is telling us, me, to love who? To love uh, the enemies. Now, this is hard for the Jews because the Romans oppressed them and just did anything to them. So, like I said back then, a lot of folks didn't get saved because God wanted them to love their enemies. And so they, I mean, if you, you, I mean, the, why do you think Jonah ran to Nineveh? Because he knew what these people had done to his ancestors. He didn't want to see them saved. He ran. But he had to come back and do his mission. Yeah, his task had to be done. He delayed it. But God had already planned it. So now, God tells these people here, the Jewish, love the Roman folks. I know they oppress you, 
I love them. God people, but 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 Jesus told them to love these enemies. Such words turn many away from Christ. Yeah, because Jesus told them love 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 the Romans. They don't want to took your wives and took your cows. They took your Jesus told them love. They were going to turn it back on Christ to love. Man. But Jesus told them to do that. Jesus was not talking about having affection for the enemies. He was talking about an act, a will. See, we get it kind of mixed up. When God said, I love our enemies. He didn't talk about uh, that affection. Because I know my folks back in the days, they loved me, Christian, but they didn't love my sin. They didn't love what I was doing. But they loved me. Yeah, they loved me. So when folks wrong you, you still got to love regardless. You got to do it. Because think about it. We have been so rebellious against God. He loved us too. He, he sent Jesus to die. He sent Jesus to die. And yeah, that, that ain't easy because I hear folks say all the time, if someone killed my daughter or killed my son, I can't forgive them, I can't do this. I can't touch that. You see what I'm saying? I mean, you, you gotta wait to God to give you something to speak to that individual about that, that someone had to kill their baby, their loved one, all of this stuff, before you can just tell them that's the wrong way. You've got to let God give you some, the right thing to say to the individual. Because that's, man, that's tough. That's tough. In my town, Rayford, this man took a two-year-old child and another daughter, a uh, two or four week old baby, something like that, the dad in the woods and killed him. When the police seen it, he said he never in his life seen him that bad. Uh, baby just got in the hospital, one and one old. The dad is stabbed. Then he killed a two year old. I cannot tell that mom don't hate that man. I can't, I gotta wait to God give me something to give her about that situation. She lost two child. From the husband. All women do. I mean, but God tells us we got to love our enemies. We got to love. Not affection, but the act of will. About the act of will. So that, that, that everything takes time in his walk with Christ to get to where we need to be. Because yeah. folks going to do some stuff to us that the enemy going to want our action to be what? To hate, uh, 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 to not forgive them for what they've done and not. Because I know we've done, and we probably still do some stuff, not that Christ don't, don't like that we're doing, but Christ still loves us. He still will forgive us. He said, even though I see you in the sin, forgive me, you don't remember no more. But when it comes to us and others, you know, it's kind of hard for us to grab hold to. I got to give my, my brother. I got to give this. I got, but we got to get there. And God give us time uh, to get there to where we need to be. But we got to get there. Because with our love, we can't make it. We got to love one another Amen. in this walk as the body of Christ. And what God we, um, expect our expect us to love one another. And He knows love like enemy won't gonna be easy. But what's inside of us will make it easy. Amen. His spirit that will make it easy for me to love my enemy, love my neighbor. Love one that spitefully you love them, pray for them. Pray to God, bring that brother, sister, wherever it is, and the knowledge 
of him. Yeah. Don't hate him. I got to love him. And Christ will do that for us. Yeah. He'll do that for us. He will give us the right thing to say at the right time and allow us to be that what we should be in this world. It's, it's some stuff in this world that, yeah, without Christ, we ain't going to make it. We got to have Christ to make it. We got to have it to make it this day and this time. Okay, to God be the glory. Thank God for, for everything. Something have been said through the scriptures that will give us a little thinking in this walk with Christ. Um, that God, God will give us everything we need to to conquer uh, this task. Everybody have a different task. One thing we got to do in this walk, we got to love. Without love, our task won't make it. Yeah, regardless of how tough and how we treat, we gotta we just gotta love folks and allow God to do His part. We gotta do His part. He do His part. We gotta trust and believe God will do His part. Yeah, we will do His part. Uh, like I said, uh, next Sunday is uh. It is Father's Day, and uh, we just pray that uh, God allow us to see. Uh, he he didn't promise. But we, we just pray that God allow us to see uh, Father's, Father's Day and uh, be back in, uh, to his house. We do have a Father's Day speaker, like I said, on, on next Sunday. Um, Sunday school is at... 9.30. Uh, Sunday school 9.30. And um, your mother's got to do some uh, wise things. I got to do some cooking. I just can't go out and eat next Sunday night. And after one of, what, after 7 o'clock now, how y'all going to feed your fathers next week? Talk to them. I don't hurt that. You know, hey. Kuwait got everything on the, on the shit down. Everything on the fan. We on the fan, we don't even know it. So we can't even do nothing about the <laughs> So we got to depend on y'all, make sense. Yeah. Nevertheless, we still got the love. We still got the love. We still got the love. But anyway, yeah. it's coming regardless. Everybody like um, prayer, family, job, whatever. Everybody like prayer. The office is over. Everybody like prayer. If not, we just we just staying and we just we just pray a lot.
in your universe. Bless them, God, with the gift of salvation, God, the one that not saved, God, changed their mindset, God, on this week, this day, God, allow them to know, God, that the leaders, the leaders, the leaders, God, and without you, God, we, we can't endure what you will have us to endure. But thank you for the task, God, that you have put before us, each vessel here on today, each instrument, God, today. Use them in a mighty way. God, don't allow anything to come up against them, God, that you can not allow them to be able to walk and to praise through it. Let them know praises, God, will turn down the walls of whatever the enemy tried to do on them on next week. Bless them and keep their body healed, God, and give them the strength to do another 12, maybe some eight, maybe nine hours on next week. The heat is coming, God, but you'll be the air conditioner for them on next week and give them a mindset to drink the water, everything they need, God, to make it through this desert storm. We bless you, honor, and glorify your name, God, and touch families everywhere, God, and help us, God, to be all that you have us to be. We love you today, God, and we thank you we need. As we go back to our destination, God, give us the strength that we need and everything we need, God, to be successful. Protect us on the highways and as we leave this place, God, but we never leave your presence. We thank you for the fill-in, the musician, and the worker, and everybody that played a part in your service on today. Thank you, and bless them even more, God. And we thank you for the guests. She's not really a guest anymore, God. But bless her, God, as she go out and be a, a vessel, God, to your people. Cover her in your blood, and each one in your blood on today. Protect our past, our day, continue the vacation. Where they may be on today, God. Bless them and keep them, God. And Everything, God, that's surrounding their life, God, allowed to be blessed according to that word. We love you all today, God, and we need you. Help us, oh God, to be all that you have us to be. Without you, God, we need nothing. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for your Jesus' son that died on the cross. We need you today, God. We need you every day. Help us, God, to be all, all that you have us to be. We love you if you need us, I pray. It's in Jesus' name in the church say. Amen. 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 Now we'll be dismissed. We'll be dismissed. We'll be dismissed. The benediction. God, thank you for everything you've done. Bless your people. Never, God, let us leave your presence. Always keep a mind. Always keep a mind in our spirit, God, connected towards the throne. Help us, oh God, in a way that we know that we can't do. We love you on today, and thank you for these good people. Once again, God, that we come back on next week. Bless us and keep us. Our minds stayed on thee. We love you and we need you. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. 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 You may be dismissed. Amen. 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 amen.